What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of the best commando builds in all of Fallout 76. We have my full health stealth commando build. Starting off over in the build, these are the base stats that make up our in-game commando build, so if you want to use the exact build I'm using, this is your start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game commando build. Starting off in strength, we have 4 and this one can have traveling pharmacy at 1 star. Weights of all kims including stim packs are reduced by 30%. We have blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% to less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in Perception, we have 15, and this one can have all the Commando cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. We have Ground Pounder at 2 stars. Automatic Rifles reload 20% faster, and you have even better hit fire accuracy. We have Tank Killer at 3 stars. Your Rifles and Pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have Concentrated Fire at 1 star. Vats now target limbs. Focus Fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. Over in Endurance, we have 11, and this one can have Life Giver at 3 stars. Gain a total plus 45 to your maximum health. We have Kin Fiend at 2 stars. Any Kims you take last 60% longer, and we are taking overdrive and psycho tats in this video we have fireproof at three stars take 45 percent to less damage from explosions and flame attacks we have rejuvenated at two stars you gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated over in charisma we have six and this one can have field surgeon at one star stim packs and radway will now work much more quickly we have strange and numbers at one star positive mutation effects are plus 25 percent stronger if your teammates are also mutated we have tenderizer at three stars make your target receive 10 percent more damage for 10 seconds after you attack over in intelligence we have six and this one can have first aid at three stars Stim packs restore 45% more lost health. We have Nerd Rage at 3 stars. Now this card is not necessary, but I do have 3 extra points and I have no idea what to do with them. So, we still have Nerd Rage. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. Over in Agility, we have 15 and this one can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have Covert Operative at 3 stars. Your ranged sneak attacks do an additional 50% sneak attack damage. We have Sneak at 3 stars. You are 75% harder to detect while sneaking. We have Escape Artist at 1 star. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth. We have Adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a 10%, max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Over in luck, we have 15, and this one can have Bloody Mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have Tormentor at 3 stars. Your rifle attacks have a 15% chance of crippling a limb. We have better criticals at 3 stars. Vats criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have 4 leaf clover at 1 star. Each hit in Vats has an excellent chance to fill your critical meter. We have Starch Jeans at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from Rads, and Radway right will never cure your mutations. And we have Critical Savvy at 3 stars. Critical hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter. Over in the legendary per cards, these are the legendary day per card to make up our in-game commando build. Starting off in Intelligence, we have that card maxed out. We have Endurance maxed out. Strength at 3 stars, Luck at 3 stars, Follow Through maxed out, and Far Flung Fireworks at 2 stars. These are the Legendary Pair cards, now let's get to my armor, weapons, buffs, and mutations. Over in the armor, what we're using is a full set of Vanguard's gear, which grants up to plus 35 to energy and damage resistance the higher your health, and since we are a high health build, this is absolutely fantastic. Over in the Under Armor, what we're using is my Shielded Secret Service Under Armor to get a plus 4 to our Strength, a plus 2 to our Perception, and a plus 4 to our Endurance. Over my Backpack, what I'm using is my Standard Backpack with a High Capacity Mod to get a plus 1 120 torque airway. Over in the weapon, what we're using is my trusty The Fixer, with the main legendary effect being the quad effect, which is quadruple ammo capacity, has a 25% faster fire rate, and it also has a faster movement speed while aiming. And the mods that we're using with it is a prime automatic receiver, aligned long barrel, forceful stock, perforating magazine, reflex sight dot suppressor, and the blood eagle paint. Over in the mutations, we're using adrenal reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, egghead, healing factor, herbivore, marsupial, sky skin, and speed demon. Over in our buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we have mute fruit juice, to get a plus 2 to our agility, simple firm flower tea to get a plus 2 to our strength, potato juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP, blight soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage, we have carrot soup to get a plus 4 to our perception, and we of course have a perfect bubble gum that way our hunger and thirst mirrors do not increase. Over in our kin buffs, what we're using is overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage, and we're using psycho tats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception, damage resist increase, and damage plus 11%. Now over the demonstrations with our all-powerful commando build, we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center, and that's because there's a ton of disgusting super mutants over here that need to be vanquished. And we're going to start with this guy. Look at that. 236, 236. One more. Come on. 425 directly to the face. What about this guy? Let me just get a little bit closer to him. All right. And goodbye. A 689 is in that damage numbers. Holy crap. Here we go. Let me just uh, excuse you guys. I have no idea where I'm at. Okay, you're obliterated. What about you, sir? And goodbye now. Look how fantastic that is. Now we're going to do this one outside of that real quick. All right. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Let me just... Uh, <clears throat> oh, super mutants have brought one of the most powerful weapons in all of Fallout 76. Would you like to feel the wrath of it, sir? Sir, would you like to feel the wrath of the fixer? 
Yeah, he could not withstand the power of the fixer. And there was a 933 in there. Oh, God. Oh, God. We got ourselves flying ham, a floater, and a green guy. We're going to get the floater. We hate the floater the most. So, lock onto his face, and goodbye. That floater is no more. What about you, sir? Let me just goodbye now. It's like two shots, three shots, and they're dead. Holy crap. Hello, brethren. I brought a god-tier weapon for you to fill the wrath of. Let me just... Get over here. I want to lock onto your face. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Looking you in the eyes and goodbye. The next Wasteland monstrosity on our list to fill the wrath of the commando build is the one, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Billy Bob. And we're going to wake him up with a couple shots real quick. There we go. 104. 187. Okay. Let me just get face shot. 187. 187. A 374. All right. Now we're going to get the most amount of damage while in vats, of course. So there we go. 205. 205. We got a vat critical lined up. Look at that, 743. Now we're just going to lay into him. Goodbye, behemoth. Now I've made my way to one of the most foul creatures in all of Fall 76. We have the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs. We're going to start by shooting her in the face just a second. There we go, 57, 57, two something. All right, 130. Okay, now come here, come here. There we go. Let me just shoot him to get a little bit more damage towards her. Fantastic. Now we're going to obliterate the queen. Look at that damage. Oh, my God. Let me just let that vat heal real quick or refill. There we go. Absolutely amazing. And goodbye, my little queen. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the highest hitting weapons in all of Fall 76, the Assaultron Head. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is my Assaultron Head video.